Dude, they're gonna come top. Come, 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 come. Oh, look, who's invading, dude? Never fight Jax early game when he has E. Once you have four Q stacks, you can actually walk up and try to pressure him like this. I like to ignite him when he Qs in like this so he can't extend the trade. Because he took this tower shot, it actually allows me to look for a kill on my ignite timer. I was super surprised he actually queued in on me here. I thought he would understand with Ignite he's just dead no matter what, but it ended up being a free kill anyways. Are we serious right now? Worth this fuck? Yeah, not even bad. I'm super strong with Ignite Nasher, so I'm gonna look to fight him here. safe top <laughs> don't even need to don't worry about it don't worry about me how does the jex vs gwen matchup typically go jex usually takes lethal lethal is really bad most of the time you should take uh grasp jax can win level one um best rundown is it's skill it's a skill matchup probably a skill matchup favored for jax but yeah jax can force prior level one so normally gwen just plays safe and whenever you're bouncing on waves four five six you can look for trades so if Jax ever like missteps, misuses his E, you can uh, look for a kill or chunk. But um, you're mainly playing on your Ignite timer when you're playing Gwen. You're igniting an R. You think Camille Nerf will kill her? Uh, kill her uh, as, a, as a blind pick? Yeah, probably. The thing is, she was just good at everything. Basically unkillable in lane when, when using her passive properly. Um, and like insane value. I don't know, that champ was so 1v9. Nah. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I dodged everything. They just have too much like base damage. Like I can't dodge uh, KQ, KNR. What? Wait, how did that hit me? Yeah, if he's in new, new top lane, this guy cannot be real. I need to just not get cheesed and uh, I'll carry this game. I'm just going to stack up my Q, try to pressure him off CS. I 
hit two here. That's no flash. Really good, really good. Jungle is also pallying away. I'm gonna walk in between tower because I know Belmeth isn't here. Do a little trade. Let Ivern tank. Yeah, let's use it's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. Ping my mid laner, because he's coming. He's gonna go bot lane. Nunu's goal is just to make the game as crazy as possible. He's only win con, really. If we can get six grubs, it means that side lane is gonna be even higher pressure. I mean, I'll already be able to take everything, but I'll make it easier. Nunu should be coming in right about now. He reset. If not, he should be mid lane. Yeah. Okay, he's bot lane. I'm just gonna take that plate proxy, then reset. It might seem like, dude, why am I trying so hard if the Nunu is trolling? When you're in high elo, every single game matters. If you throw a game like this, it's literally worth like 80 LP. Losing a guaranteed win is the absolute single worst thing you can do in, in League. So make sure to always focus up no matter how hard the enemy team is trolling. Okay, just gonna continue to proxy. And we should be walking mid lane here. Mid or bot. Make sure my team knows, right? So yeah, he went bot. It's just important to let your team know what's happening. In games like this, where you know somebody's trolling, say it's like a Twitch or something, and he's just walking around the map ganking. It's important because you have the full knowledge and your team, you know, they're focused on CS team, fighting, whatever it may be. Just let them know. It's really not hard and it might save their life. Get your two here. Melveth could come because Nunu should be walking. But I think... Am I dead? It's fine. I'll just R to walk away. I'm going to continue pressuring top lane here because I want this tier 2. It's about to die. I could walk bot. It's just like bot and mid for, you know, tower plating. It's just I can never really break any of these people. You know, Ezreal can just sit back and farm. Cinder can clear wave. So it's hard to actually swap lanes here. Scrubs, there's no way they win. My team is fighting bot lane. I do have TP. It's just with no R, no ignite. I think it's not worth it to gamble a fight. I can get the guaranteed gold top lane. With two grubs, you can basically take everything in the game. That should be okay. I'm just be aware. If he keeps chasing, I'll kill him. I'll W this. Get full tower. Yeah, so I'm just completely unkillable. Oh, Beth is right here.
Now that I have a lot of gold, instead of just over pressuring, I'm gonna insta reset, get my gold, and then, you know, look for rift, look for mid, whatever. And this is the big difference between high and low elo players. They don't know how to actually finish a game. So we're in an incredibly winning position. But what we have to look at is they have two drakes, right? So if we make a big mistake, they can actually get on soul point and the game could be difficult, which means all we need to do is get this Rift Herald, drop it mid lane, I go bot, we open up mid and bot and the game's just completely over. In four minutes, there's, there's Baron, even if we don't end the game right away, we just get Baron because we have full pressure bot mid and there's no way that the enemy team comes back from that. That's definitely the biggest thing I notice when I when I do smurf. It's just players players have a very hard time closing games out, even with leads. You need to watch out for the EQW from Syndra. My W. No reason to walk in on this fight. Just guarantee the win. Hit objectives, and then you can finish slowly. I'll W his ability. He uses it. Like that. Yeah, so all that is gone. We just walk up. Get six grubs. Very nice. 